Hey guys, January 8th, 2022. This, I've, I've made so many different attempts at this. But if you've read all the mumbo jumbo off of this site right here, this ahayatruth.com, there is so much truth in here. But then as you go down, you get to hear where the bullshit hits the fan. Read from, I used to smoke marijuana, blah, 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 blah. Look, if you read this and you believe all this, you need to repent. This person is an antichrist spirit if I've ever seen it. They're deceived in every way I can imagine. I used to smoke marijuana, drink alcohol, blah, 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 blah. I'm too afraid of God in the day of judgment. Obviously, God exists. Repent of your sins and take these things seriously. We must keep the Ten Commandments. Oh, really? So when Christ said, I come not to abolish the law, but to fulfill it, that, that doesn't mean anything, right? We must keep the Sabbath day set apart. <clears throat> no physical work, earning or spending money, cooking, exercising, walking long distances, driving, using machines, <laughs> watching worldly entertainment. Facebook, watching television, etc. We must be vegetarian. God never gave the Israel, you know. We have to stop smoking cigarettes and marijuana and drugs, drinking alcohol, no more porn or masturbation. I mean, look, man, that's all works. All of it. It's all, and this is an antichrist spirit here. If ever did I see one. But then they go on to say, uh, Christianity no longer has anything in common with Christ and his disciples. They're not teaching the true doctrine. Well, you're not teaching the two, true doctrine of Christ right here, man. What the heck? Uh, then they're misinterpreting Paul themselves, but then they accuse the churches of misinterpreting Paul. I mean, it's just lies. It's double speak if I ever seen it then they go on to mix up the old wine with new wine then it gets really thick christ is a black man all right end it right there black hebrew israelite movement is of the devil if you don't know that by now you really need to do some studying man and the true doctrine of Christ compared to what is taught today is a different, is as different as a white man and a black man. Again, you need to stop and learn. Oh my goodness. Read through all this. You're just going to see so much horse shit in here. It's not even funny. Ugh. The black people in America are from the tribe of Judah. Like Christ, Israelites are at the bottom today because some of their ancestors uh, not keeping God's commandments. Uh, yada, yada, yada. It does not mean that everyone is equal. Yes, everyone is equal in the kingdom of God. All are equal. God is not a respecter of persons. God opened the covenant to all who would believe on his son, Jesus Christ, and his fulfilled works, man. Ugh. It's one body, but the body parts aren't equal. Well, see, there's bullshit right there again. The Israelites who are accepted into the kingdom of Christ, Christ will be the rulers of the kingdom. That is why Christ is called king of kings, because there will be many kings in his kingdom. The Israelites will be at the top and not at the bottom. You want a basic, you know, okay, this person is lost and they are mixing grace with works. God said to keep his laws not to be a religion and not to be a religion. They're teaching, no, you're teaching false doctrines with all your horse shit up here. The war has always been between God and Satan. 
legality against anarchy, keeping God's laws versus breaking God's laws. We can only be saved if we abandon all sin in our lives. No, that's not what Christ said. That's not what Christ said. Oh. oh my goodness. On the day of judgment, we are going to stand before God, the judge, and Satan is going to accuse all of us of deserving to be sent to hell like him because we sinned many times in our life on purpose just like him. He will say that we deserve the same punishment. It's up to Christ if he wants to defend us. He's only going to defend us if we pay him his legal fees. His demand or his legal fees is that we keep his father's commandments. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. Jesus paid for us on that cross, my friends, in that anyone who should believe on him shall not suffer the second death, right? The second death is going to come to these people right here that's preaching this nonsense. Anyone that believes on Jesus, casts her faith upon him, on his finished works, his fulfillment of the law, his fulfillments of the commandments on that cross, shall be saved. This person is preaching an antichrist false doctrine. God chose the only nation that did not deal with the fallen angels, the Hebrew Israelites, to be his people. He gave them his laws. They're now being punished because some of them did not keep God's laws. My goodness. You know, this person does away with the grace of God completely. You know, even up here somewhere, they said that we're not to worship Jesus Christ, but we're to worship God only here. Let me go find it. Hang on. Here it is right here. We are to worship God, not Christ. And we worship God by keeping his commandments. Not bowing down to a statue or image. Well, that, that part is true. Not bowing down to a statue or image. Right. But we're to worship God, not Christ, and we worship God by keeping his commandments. We worship God through the Son. Through the Son. Right? I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man cometh unto me. How am I going to get this across to anyone? It... it We are to worship God, not Christ. I have never, ever heard anything so batshit crazy in my life. And this is what this whole movement will do to you. It is completely corrupt to its core. Yeah, you're going to summarize it briefly for me. Yeah, okay. And by the way, I have a cash app and a PayPal pal li pal link. <laughs> Get in touch. Yeah. Click here to read the Essene Humane Gospel of Christ. Okay, man. I know I bounced around an awful lot, but you can go here and read all this nonsense for yourself. There is so much truth mixed up with lies mixed up with i mean it is just this is sick man it's sick and i really hope you don't fall for this you know jesus is the way the truth and the life and no man comes to the father except by him but they're telling you not to worship jesus worship god you're not supposed to worship jesus but god you worship god through the son God only hears your prayers unless it's through Christ, through the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ sent the Holy Spirit 
of God the Father onto the world to be the mediator between God and men, right? When he's not here, the spirit of him is here so that we might have a way by which we can speak to the Father. But without the Son, you haven't the Father. This person does not have the Father because they have not the Son. This is all Antichrist, man. This is the devil, and this is the kind of warfare that we're in right now. The devil knows his scripture better than anybody. Theologians know the scripture better than anybody, but does it mean they're saved? No. The Holy Spirit of God will come in here when you're reading this, and he'll come, on, come over you and be like, wow, run from this. Don't believe a word of it. Take the good of, you know, from the bad. Yeah, there's this thing. Here's the other thing, man. The other problem I have with this, if you go printing off this as flyers without reading it through carefully as I have, <clears throat> and you go giving that to people, people who have taken the juice, right, which we can't prove without a shadow of a doubt that it is, in fact, the mark. What you're doing is giving them no hope. And then they'll cast this aside and they'll be like, oh, I guess I'm going to hell. Is, is, that, is that the spirit of God? No, that's the spirit of Antichrist. The spirit of Antichrist is giving people no hope. The spirit of God is one of hope and faith. The spirit of Antichrist is one of no hope and of fear. Man. Anyways, you guys check this out for yourself. Till next time, sir.